Hi everyone, uh, I want to do this video on uh, T-Mobile internet service and um, I've had the internet service for a couple months now. In that time I've had issues, I have had a lot of programs that really just don't work or they work inefficiently. So I wanted to share that with some of you out there, so just in case you are having problems, maybe you can do a little bit further research and then I'm going to give you some basic understandings of what could be happening. So carrier grade NAT is what T-Mobile uses. They really don't um, discuss this and they don't even tell their customer support reps. In fact, a customer support rep, um, a supervisor, does not even know what that is, nor did anyone who I spoke with on the phone. Actually, answer your question about you know the connectivity, the stability of your um, your internet connection. Mm. Yeah. Now, if if possible, I I know you've been on a call as you mentioned. Excuse me um, one second. For over two hours already. Yeah, two hours. Actually, eleven thirty. I started calling. Yeah, of course. I, of course, I don't want you to do the same thing over and over again. That's the reason. Okay, so. After almost three hours of being on support to find out why my, my ports were being locked, I'm not able to port forward, and really just a lot of issues, okay, as far as connectivity, all right? A lot of issues that really are making it difficult for me to do my job as a cybersecurity professional. So, there was someone who transferred me and transferred me again, and then the supervisor recommended that I just use a router. But in my mind, that really doesn't make sense if they don't allow port forwarding. So at any rate, I went out and I said, what the heck, after speaking with a support rep. So here we go again. Best Buy? Yep. Yes. Hey man, I would go to Best Buy, um, and the reason I say Best Buy and not Amazon, because a lot of the times the Best Buy associates, they're very knowledgeable in their departments. Um, That's right. Yeah. What I would do personally, and Bunny Gerard, I've actually recommended these exact same steps to another customer. I told them, go to, go to a Best Buy store so you can look at the units, um, and they'll tell you about the differences between them. Once you are a little bit more knowledgeable on the units, if you'd like, you can purchase one there. I know they are a little bit more expensive at Best Buy, or at that point, you can look at different options that you would have at Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, it, all you have to do to connect that external device, just, just how you plug in any, any device to the gateway device uh, via Ethernet, right? As soon as you plug in that Ethernet port, uh, that router will automatically start working. Uh, on that router, that's where you would change the static IP. Does that make sense? Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Um, um, and what I'm actually going to go ahead and do for you... Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, I just want to know, why does T-Mobile then use the CGNAT if it creates complications for some people? Can you repeat that one more time? Sure. Why does... What is, um, it, what, what is the abbreviation? Yeah, uh, the CGNAT, I wanted to not. Um, you can use the static IP. However, again, without port forwarding and with no static IP from the ISP, I just didn't see how this was going to work. But, hey, I came this far. Might as well uh, continue. This way I can make a video out of it and hopefully help some people out there who are probably hearing the same thing. For me, it didn't work. I go out, purchased a router, and then I was just wondering as far as the settings, like, am I missing something? So the guy that I spoke with on the phone for a while who insisted I couldn't get in touch with, never called me back, then I end up on the phone with this guy when I was trying to get the other guy on the phone and once again left out in the cold, here we go. I'm not asking you to change, I'm just saying like the guy told me to get a third party router 
So I was just wondering the settings because he said that that's the that's the way you solve this problem. But he, yeah, he I don't think a third party router will help your situation. To be honest, he didn't even know what C um, G N A T was either. Maybe you should Google that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing is I can only tell you what we know and what's in our policies and procedures, and yeah. in the parts we produce, we can't change anything. Uh, according to our, our our documents, it states that a third party router will not work with our internet. Um, so I can't explain why you were doing a third party router. I can only listen to the call and provide feedback to his supervisor. Um, but then again, if, if this isn't like if you're trying to use VPN or anything like that, we don't support that yet. Yeah, I'm not trying to use that. Um. I have a link that says you do support third party routers. But not necessarily support, but it works with the third party router. I'm just wondering what the settings are though for that. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. I don't think business support would be able to tell you that too. You'd have to contact the manufacturer of that device. Yeah, well, unfortunately, after three and a half hours of support, T Mobile's the one that told me to get it. Do you know who that person is that I talked to the last time when I called earlier? Uh, it should come up in the account because I. I not only did I waste three hours on the phone with support, and then I went out and got a back router. Um, I see where you've already talked to business once, twice. Not business. This, uh, this guy was it, home, apparently. Was it before that? Before you got transferred to business? Yeah, or? I was transferred literally five Could times. I, I don't even know which ones. Which guy? Uh, it looks like a... Uh, I only see... One second. I was transferred literally like five times. Yeah, because I see multiple people touching the account and they're all saying the same thing about static IP. Uh, one second. I think I found This was from June 2nd today. Uh, I only see females that you talk to in the account. I don't see any male. Oh, Guillermo? Was it Guillermo? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that is the guy, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, let me look him up. Is he still there? Maybe he can tell me how to set it uh, up. <laughs> so essentially, because they don't have um, the ability to get a static IP address, um, they are um, making the connectivity between your system and um, the internet very inefficient in some ways. Um, so uh, many people may indeed need a static IP address to uh, have their programs function properly. Um, and it also appears that T-Mobile does block ports. It's a constant blocking of ports. And uh, they also do not allow you um, to forward. They don't allow port forwarding. So this just keeps going on and on. For those of you who do have T-Mobile, um, as your internet carrier, now I don't mean the cell phone, I actually mean the router that they send to you, I have to say that I am canceling T-Mobile. Yes, I'm canceling T-Mobile. Um, only reason I ever had T-Mobile in the first place is because I live in a rural area and connectivity is not all that great. But T-Mobile is really no different than tethering your cell phone. So, you, okay, you're gonna get a little faster, but in essence, you can tether your cell phone and it's the same kind of connectivity. So, just just doesn't make sense. So, I'm gonna go for a static IP address, gonna go back to CenturyLink, a little bit slower, but um, I can't have blocking of ports, especially when I am scanning for work using Nmap, using Burp Suite, and a plethora of other um, uh, cybersecurity programs that are necessary to do my job. So, at any rate, if this is happening to you, really there is no um, solution. For those of you out there, um, one solution is you can opt for the T-Mobile business, but I want to mention they make such a big project, you have to send in all these papers, and I do have a business, but I mean, the, the amount of information, everything from your ID to your IRS papers, and they need certain specified IRS documents. And then on, on top of that, it's horrific customer support. I just said, forget this altogether. 
and I'll go with the home internet service from another carrier that provides a static IP. So, at any rate, I hope this helps for those of you out there who do have some issues with T-Mobile internet connectivity.